For this topic, we're going to cover the outline designer. So you can find the outline designer on the left-hand side in the left region, and you'll see content outline. So we'll either refer to as content outline because it is your course content outline, or outline designer, which is the name of this tool in general. So you can see I have the outline for this course that I'm working on, uh, which is generating the materials. So I have a few different options here. I can add new content by clicking add content. I can decrease or increase the size of the interface, similar to the buttons on the bottom. You see, but it just influences this area, whereas the buttons on the bottom influence the entire page. Uh, I can open all of the sublevels of the outline, or I can close all the sublevels of the outline at once. I can also go in and click this arrow to the side just to open individual ones to work with a piece of material. So the, each one of these is a piece of material in the course. So to work with one of them individually, I click on this little content operations button here, and you'll see I have add content, which will add below whatever I've clicked on, rename this content, edit, which takes me to the edit form, view, which takes me to view this content, delete, duplicate, and change type, which will cover types in a different lesson. So you can see type is reflected by the icon that's here. Um, at this time, we have four different types. So we have folders, links, pages, and referenced pages. Uh, you can see whenever you click to do a, an operation, a window pops up, and then you type in whatever it is uh, for adding content. In the case of renaming, I click rename, I'll say welcome, I'll say stuff, type whatever it is, hit enter, it'll save it. You can also double click to accomplish the same thing. And notice whenever I, in the process of saving something, there's a little loading widget that winds. It's best to wait until the interface uh, has reloaded in order to edit the next piece of material. You also have operations like view or an edit. So if I click edit, so we'll actually open a new window with the editor in place. I'll close that page. If I go to view, it will open in a new window, just that page of material, so I can jump there. I can delete, which I won't delete any of these as I'm working on this actively, but um, so we'll add a new piece of content. My new content. If you hit enter, it's a shortcut for clicking the button so you can add things more rapidly. Um, and we'll click it and we'll hit delete. Now you see you get a confirmation. So you can either delete the hierarchy, which is this piece of material and everything below it, which is a little risky because <laughs> you could delete a lot of material. Um, or you can just delete this one. So by default, let's just delete this one. So let's delete this one. You see it's gone. There's no way to recover from deleting material, which is an important note, because it is actually removed from the system as a whole. Another thing we can do, we can duplicate. So I have this welcome page, and I click duplicate, and I'll ask how many copies would you like? You can make up to 15 copies, um, whether or not to duplicate the hierarchy again, and then you can actually format the way new titles should be made. So it gives a little outline as to what this is. So title will actually just replicate whatever the title of the item is it's copying. And if you do this uh, at sign I, it'll actually add whatever number of duplicate it is. So uh, to showcase this will be three duplicates. Uncheck the hierarchy because we don't need to do that. We'll duplicate the welcome page should see several messages saying it's been duplicated and you'll see it did welcome one, welcome two, welcome three as a result. Uh, as I don't need those, I can click on this little icon and drag and this will allow you to restructure your content outline. I can then click on this and we'll say delete and showcase deleting a hierarchy, delete, and that'll get rid of all three of those pages. Uh, you can also duplicate hierarchies as you saw the option. Um, and then the last thing here is to change type. So if we have a page and we want it to be a folder, we can change it to a folder. And that has system implications, which will be covered in each of the, uh, the types pages. So we'll go over what each type actually does.